We are so excited to bring you a brand new segment here on CBS 2 News at 9 a.m., highlighting community heroes because we are better together. Today's hero is an accomplished chef from New Jersey who's using his culinary schools to feed the hungry and do so much more. CBS 2's John Diaz introduces us to Chef Cardi. You're going to oh, squeeze. squeeze right look at that. Wow. And there is roasted garlic. Charles Mortimer is best known as Chef Cardi, and the New Jersey man lives up to his nickname. He has decades of experience cooking professionally. So just a pinch of that. It's a pinch. And this will cook down. But it's what the well-known retired chef has done outside the kitchen he is most proud of. He has dedicated his life's work to helping the homeless and less fortunate. It's a labor of love, as you know. I'm good at what I do. I'm good at what I did. And I've left the mark along the way. He thrives to make a difference in his community. At the Church of the Holy Spirit in Verona, he is making sure no one goes hungry. In 2016, he revamped its kitchen. It was even to the point that they were going to condemn it. It was that bad. Iron, rusted, you name it. So he paid to have a state-of-the-art kitchen and food pantry installed, which now serves almost 200 families a month. He used his inheritance to pay for it after his parents died and dedicated the kitchen to both of them. He says his mother told him to build it in a dream. And it sums up everything that my mother would have wanted. She taught me everything about cooking. She's the one who sent me to culinary school. Chef Cardi is also involved in the Emerald Lagasse Foundation, donating his time to tour around the country to teach young culinary students in both middle and high schools. He also started up culinary therapy, putting on shows in hospitals, retirement homes, and rehab facilities all over for free as a way to help people look past their health issues and recall happier times through the act of cooking. They came in with their walkers, I cooked for them, and I made their day. And then there is this, his 280-page cookbook called Keep on Cooking. Every recipe has a personal story about my life because in 2010, I was paralyzed from the waist down after back surgery. I could not walk, and I didn't think I would ever cook again. It took Chef Cardi two years to write the book, and he hasn't seen a penny of the proceeds. That's because he donates all of it to the National Coalition for the Homeless and has raised more than $100,000. Just an amazing, compassionate person who really believes in resolving the issue of homelessness around this country. Donald Whitehead is the executive director of the coalition. He says Chef Cardi's donations have helped people across America. We have to be our neighbor's keeper. Um, we have to go outside of ourselves and help others who are less fortunate. Many people do not approach the issue in that way, but I'm glad uh, the chef did that and, and really uh, just impressed by him as a person. He's not alone. Chef Cardi's volunteer work is now being praised by the U.S. Congress, and recently he was awarded a congressional award. This is the highest honor I've ever gotten. Celebrating him as a hero. It's just icing on the cake that, you know what? I've done some things right in my life. I'm not perfect. I've made many mistakes. But this is really very, very special. So it's clear you're much more than just a chef. You're a dreamer. You know, what's next? I have never asked for fame and fortune. And I'm going to continue. This is not a swan song saying goodbye. Because he says it's always going to be about... Right there. Keeping your heart in the right place. In Verona, New Jersey, John Diaz, CBS 2 News. Chef Cardi is just one of many community heroes we'll be profiling over the coming weeks on Mondays, right here on CBS 2 News at 9 a.m.